14 Togolese opposition leaders are in Ghana for continued talks with President Ekofuado in a bid to find solution to the Togo crisis. This meeting by the Ghanaian leader with the Togo opposition group will, will also be another move after his previous attempts to broker peace in uh, Togo after some two attempts. Kumla Kluche has more. Sources in Togo confirm the departure for Ghana of the opposition leaders to TV3 on board a chartered flight which arrived after 4 p.m. Tuesday afternoon. Among the delegation are Tagon, Dr. Kuisan, Mayor Agboibo, CAR, Nathaniel Olympio, Party de Togole, Jean-Pierre Fabre, ANC and Eric Dupi. The visit by the opposition leaders is at the behest of Ghana's president, Anadron Kwekufwado, who has been leading mediation efforts in the lingering political crisis in Togo. President Akufado and Nigeria's President Alhaji Muhammad Buhari, who is currently in Ghana, attending Ghana's 61 years of independence, are expected to meet with the delegation at the State House in Accra on Tuesday. They will later in the night have a dinner. Our sources have revealed there has been political tension in Togo since August last year as the coalition of opposition parties are demanding a resignation of President Nasingbe in a bid to bring the Nasingbe dynasty to an end. Nationwide protest rallies held in August 20, 2017 saw the death of two persons. There were also reported clashes in cities across the country as tension reached high pitch in the position stronghold, Sokode. On September 6, 2017, thousands of protesters marched through the streets of Togo's capital, Lome, causing authorities to shut down the internet in that country. The situation caused calls of Togolese to flee the country. In February this year, the Togolese government and a coalition of 14 opposition political parties agreed to implement a number of measures aimed at building trust and confidence among the political actors in Togo. This was contained in the communique issued on Monday, 19 February 2018, at the end of the first dialogue meeting held between the parties. This was facilitated by the President of the Republic, Nanado Dankwa, a Kufuado, and aimed at finding a lasting solution to the political impasse in Togo. In October 2017, President Kufuado intervened by initiating talks with the political actors in that country in an attempt to ensure political stability for peace to prevail. Oh, that was so this is some exclusive information we had, we had from our sources in Togo uh, there, given up to you. But I've been joined on the telephone by Eugene Ahine. He's the Director of Communications at the Presidency. Zain, thank you very much for your time. Good evening to you. Can you give official confirmation to this story and the details as we do have it? Um, Alfred, um, good evening. Um, good evening to your listeners. Um, yes, um, you know... Um, Dating back to some seven months ago, um, the president has been engaged in facilitating um, talks between the leadership of the coalition of 14 opposition political parties in, in Togo, as well as with the government of um, President Four and nothing being aimed at finding a lasting solution to the crisis um, 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 in, in Togo. Um, it is for that reason, and, and it's, it's for the, um, the continuation of the dialogue process that the president has initiated that um, we have um, some of the leaders of the coalition of 14 opposition parties um, in the country at the moment to um, continue talks um, with the president. You recall that at the very last meeting um, held um, between the president and the feuding parties in Togo, um, he was able to ensure that, um, firstly, the government released um, 45 out of the 92 um, political prisoners that were being held and also um, was able to ensure that at least the opposition parties had agreed to suspend any protest or demonstrations um, until um, the end of the dialogue process. So this is a continuation of the process the president has begun, and um, at least he, 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 tomorrow, God willing, he'll be meeting the um, leadership of the 14 opposition parties um, at the Flagstaff House tomorrow. See, now, uh, what has the, been the progress uh, in this talk so far? I'm, I'm, I'm talking about the fact that we see a certain level of commitment uh, from the opposition side. Uh, uh, from what you do know, is it being complemented by the posture of Foreign Yasingwe and his government? Oh, I, I believe so. And um, as I stated earlier, 
um, the, the at least everybody wants everybody wants at least from what we gather. It looks like at least as much as possible, everybody would want um, the country to, re- to 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 return to being a peaceful, stable country. And as I said earlier on, um, at, at the last meeting, at least the um, 45 out of 92 um, political um, prisoners, let me put that in quotes, who 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 are being held behind bars, at least were released as a sign of. Um, that's an appeasement towards the opposition. Likewise, the opposition also um, 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 stated that they were going to suspend all um, protests. So I believe it's just um, it, it, those two appeasement uh, um, um, decisions that were reached at least goes to show that at least both right. parties are determined to ensure that they would, they would, they, they, they would, they would as much as possible try and find ways and means by which we, they will be able to reach a lasting solution to, to, to uh, find a lasting solution to the crisis. So I believe at least progress has been made and we are confident that at least hopefully and very soon we should, we should, we should reach um, a solution to, to this particular impasse. Good to know. Sorry, but how long are they expected to be here? Uh, and, and what's going to be the details of the meeting? That is if uh, you, you, you're able to share with us. Um, oh, I'm, 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 the meeting basically is, is, is at least what from, from what it has been agreed on is just for them to meet tomorrow. Um, it depends on how um, progressive the meeting or the, 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 the talks end up being. Hopefully, we are expecting it should be a one-day thing, but it depends on, you know, these things you can never be so sure about, about how these things um, end. We are just hopeful that um, tomorrow it should end, and just like what we've done in the other two meetings between the, um, the, 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 the opposition parties and the government, at least a communicate to that effect we put out, or whatever decisions that are reached definitely will be put out. I mean, there's, there's not going to be any secrecy in this. We've, we've done it in the first instance, the second instance, so I'm certain that whatever be the case, I'm sure we'll put out any information that, 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 that comes out of the, the meeting with the president. Zion, thank you, and do have a good evening. Uh, Eugene Ahin is Director of Communications at the Presidency, uh, confirming that exclusive uh, information we had from our sources in Togo uh, were, uh, there that Ghana dispatched a plane to Lome to airlift 14 opposition political party actors in Togo to uh, Accra for talks, continued talks to find lasting solution to the political crisis in Togo at uh, the instance of President Ekufuado.